Close. Let's divide again. Go to divide, length, and now we're gonna divide this member. I'm gonna use 11.35. Click apply, and this member, the same distance, four meters. Here it is. Can close now. And let's add some other members. Go to member, add and the joint A and joint B. Right click, A, B, right click, close, go to divide, length, select this member. The distance is 2. Click apply. Select this member now. I'm going to use the same distance to then click apply. Now I'm going to use 4. And for this one, also the same distance. Let's add some members. Go to member, add. This one, this one, and the group label is H24. Click apply, and now this to this. Click apply. Here we have an intersection. Go to member, divide, intersection, joint A of line. We're going to select. 2113 to 14 and the member that's going to be divided is this one and the new joint name is 2115 then click apply here it is let's create the dummy members go to add Joint A, Joint B, and the group is dumb. Click apply, and let's do this for the others. Go to member, add. Now I have finished for all of them. Let's save our file as now go to display view face row way click apply close go to display group selection. And let's turn off the piles and the wishbones. And now let's label the joints and the groups. Then go to member, add, X brace. The center joint is 101 X. And let's start clicking here, then here. The group is BR1 and BR2. And the key factor is 0.9. Then click apply. And now I'm going to create another joint here. 
after finishing all the braces, the X braces, you, we can save our file as 04. And now we're going to define some design parameters. Go to display, group, Let's exclude the piles and wishbones. Hold on control key, select these ones also. And the conductors. Then click apply. Close. Go to joint. Connection. Automatic design. Part of structures to include use active joints to be designed. Let's select screen. Check offset braces to outside of cord. Gapping option. Let's select move brace. Along cord, the gap 5 centimeters. And here, minimal only. And let's check use accessing offset if gap criteria is met. And in the can cord tab, let's check update segment groups, increase joint can lengths only, and gonna use the API minimum requirements. Then click apply. Take a look at our joints. The offsets were automatically created. Now we can save our model. As five. To finish. Go to display. View plan and select plan minus 50. Then click apply. Let's check the local axis. Go to property. Q factor. QI. Label the joints. The first joint is 201, then 202. And here it was calculated as 20.4. Okay, select the members. Then click apply. Let's check the member, member properties. Go to these members. It has changed. Then click apply. Now let's check the member. Take a look at this one. The QI factor is zero. But this one that we have just assigned, the QI was changed. We can do the same here. We can do the same for this member. Let's check the members. And now let's do it for all the others. Plan minus twenty one apply. Go to property effective length. Let's select Y. Label the joints.
the effective length is this. Select the members, then click apply. Then click apply. Let's check the members, member, member properties. So as we can see, the effective length has been changed. close. Let's do this for all the other elevations and save our file as 06. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.